back. Let us continue the show. And let us continue Terra Enigma for today. For another hour for today. I want to go back into... Uh, oh, oh. I want to go back into... Speedrunning SOS later. To make my friends proud. But for now, more of this beautiful game. Saga said we can maybe finish this today if we go longer than an hour. But actually, I you know I want to enjoy the ending tomorrow. With you guys. And get around... Um, ah, man. Cursed me. Get around, uh, end to the series, uh, like to this playthrough. Where do I have to go? We have to go onto the conveyor belt. Let's kill this dude, maybe this will trigger something. I have to go to the conveyor belt. There's a teleportation device, there's another one. It's interesting to see that they also have like uh, invincible frames when they charge defense potion. Okay. Okay. Teleporting through the area. Got him. That was clean. This is how these fights should go every time. Ew. Oh, don't touch me. Nice. Ooh. Conveyor belt battle. Not with me. Lock into database. Please enter the password. What is this? Lock in password. What's a, what's that about? Oh god. This machine controls all system in Baruga's lab. It's protected by a password to shield the data. So I can't do anything if I don't know the password? Ha! Huh. Just key in what I tell you. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Like that? Root password accepted. Elevators and cold sleep device password lock disengaged. Whoa, it opened on the first shot. But why does Yomi know something like that? Connecting to database. Past history. Dawn of humankind. The date that Dr. Baruga announced his new biological uh, theory, DNA engineering brought about cures for re re recurrent diseases. It also helped extend life and promote artificial intelligence. Cold sleep. The world's first super cold hibernation device made by Dr. Baruga. It slowed the process of rapid diseases and saved many lives. Earth last day. The day an airborne infection virus of 90% mortality struck. Named as Modius, the virus decimated the human popula populace. Some were safe by Dr. Baruga's vaccine, but lack of food spelled doom. Lab. Lab's objective. Undertook research and development of groundbreaking biotechnology. Because of the highly hazardous work, robots are exclusively used. Vaccine. The vaccine from Asmodeus was created here to stop the plague. Its effectiveness was measured to be over 80% recovery, but insignificant, insignificant production meant it was available only to a few. 
facilities. First floor is the robot assembly plant. B1 and B2 are bio labs. B3 and beyond are under construction. Okay, what? Okay, this is what I learned now. So can I go lower? Interesting sci-fi plot all of a sudden though. That, that's the fun part of this game. You, you like, you know, early civilization of mankind and like early civilization of the world and stuff like this. And then all of a sudden it's like robots and like airborne diseases. And like the world is going to shit because of humankind itself. <laughs> like, how's that happened? Where was, the, where was the funny game where you like, you know, fly around with the birds and like save some lions? All gone. I'll tell you that much. We can go deeper. Interesting. The under construction parts. Can't move. Oh, that's a mech. Intruder attack mode on. That's still a mech. Finally, a boss fight again, huh? I have an idea. Maybe the thunder rod will do something here. The thunder pike. Because it's a machine. Maybe not. Oh, that is the weapon I have to use. my strength oh, no I feel like there is no cure for this I just have to endure and then um... oh this is a crazy enemy I guess I drink my defense potion <laughs> mid-combat. Here we go, that's better. No! Oh. The lack in this combat is like crazy. The lack in this combat is crazy. I cannot even like perform my uh, attacks properly because I lack so ha I lack so much that I can't like keep up with what I'm doing. My strength, no. Should be over soon, though. Now oh, come on!
Touchdown, the eagle has landed. Hey, one leg is dead. More healing. More. Got him. The last gasp attack was unsightly. Maybe I should like heal. I don't know. Maybe there's like an attack, uh, an attack coming up that will like do more damage now. Or it's just over. And I can't move on. Zombies? Is this Umbrella Corporation? Sure looks like it. I have no idea who you are, but I thank you for arousing me. I am Baruga. As you can see, I am a part, uh, practitioner of science. When the world died, I took to a long sleep. Yes, until the resurrection of humans. I wish to show you something. Follow me. So he's not evil? Plot twist? The evil scientist is not evil? I created this life. Isn't it beautiful? With this system, people can live forever. Death is no longer fearful. Talk to the zombie in the nutrient bath. This one? This zombie. It's looking at me. Hey, this zombie looked incredibly sad. Is this really a happy thing to revive the dead? If people didn't die, the world will be filled with... Uh, uh, filled up immediately. I have naturally taken that into account. The unnecessary shall die, and only the necessary live. That's all. What? He decides who's better. He just decides who's a better person. Whoa, you seem to be a bit hot-headed. But you better not get too close to me. Are you aware of the three laws of robots? In essence, robot must not harm people. Robots must protect people. If those conditions are met, a robot must protect itself. But the robots here have no more rule governing their behavior. Anyone deemed to, to be a threat to my person must be terminated now. Yeah, but I'm... My liege shall soon re-emerge. From the underworld. Your liege from the underworld. My liege himself is the world and knows whatever. Let us witness the world on the verge of great progress. Huh. What? From the underworld? I came from that place. This doesn't seem right, yeah.
We just made the cities big! Yeah, but this was Neo Tokyo. It's fine. Ark! You have done well to groom the world so far. Baruga will make this world fantastic. Your duty is finished. You shall rest eternally! So yeah, uh, the, uh, you, you remember my granddad from the underworld? Yeah, he's like an evil guy. Plot twist. Yeah. So, I I'm going to die. I wonder what I fought for all this time. Was what I did shaping a world like Baruga wanted? Somebody tell me. I don't want to die without knowing. That's right, Ark. You must not die at a, at a place like this. You exist outside the loop of fate, so you can change fate. This world needs you. I will transport your body to me. Now, don't slip away. Who can... Who is powerful enough to, like, get my body transmitted to another... Oh! Sure. Oh, you're coming too. Wait. Don't try to move. I arrived just as Lord Kumari came with you terribly injured. Oh, Lord Kumari saved me? Dude. You may be aware of this, but the Star of Darkness has re-emerged. It, it erased the city from the world with no, effort, with no effort. Ark, if you have the will, ask Lord, Tku Lord Kumari the way before the Star of Darkness consumes us all. Here we go, see? Plot? The plot is thickening! I love this game, by the way. Ark, I'm glad you're safe. You met him, don't, didn't you? The man they call Baruga. He introdu introduced the Star of Darkness and bred disharmony. The balance of life has, was shattered, leaving man unaffected by death. But in Lazar there is an old saying. Star stones laid at the graves at time's end calls of the golden child. Mai Ho journeyed far seeking the truth behind the saying, but Mai Ho only managed to obtain fleeting glimpses of the truth. Human fate is a fixed loop. What one seeks is not always found. You are different, you exist outside the loop of fate. Seek out the star stones and place them at the grave at time's end. There is no other way of realigning the disturbed loop of fate. But you like Neo Tokyo's theme. Sorry. You will never they will never dance again. They will never dance again. I have traveled seeking the truth behind Lazar's ancient saying. I have the power to dimly see into the future. I tried to find the star stones with that power, but I could not. Strangely, now I can vaguely see them. I can see their locations. And I see who is getting them. Star stones are in an icy village, a hot and arid land. Star icy village, we have this, it's from the penguins. A hot and arid land, I don't know what that is. A town that has died, an ancient temple, and a high rock tower. They all wait. You. I'm never gonna dance again. Yep, yeah, sorry. Also, I like that the game loops back to Lazar. Because again, he, this is where basically you are awakened from, uh, you know, reviving the animals. You, you start here and all the things like, you know, came from here and now you're back. It's a pretty long loop, though, if you, you know, if you remember what we all did for humankind and humanity. That all didn't matter at all, like, actually. We only had to find a way to Baruga. Ark, I missed you. Are you better now? I wanted to nurse you, but Grandfather forbade me. I heard you went into Baruga's lab. I'm training to properly use my abilities. Is there a message in this? 
Uh... The message in this is basically... The message in this is like very like, you know, the romantic, the romantic message. Treat others like you want to get yourself treated. And, uh, you know, look out for the world. And humanity was a mistake. <laughs> Everything we did for uh, for humanity was pointless. It was not pointless, um, but we only fueled we only fueled the strong. Right now, that's what we did. We only fueled the strong, um, and now the strong try to, you know. Claim the world. And again, like, the, again, the message is like, you know, don't meddle too much into, like, DNA stuff and don't try to achieve, like, you know, immortality. That's futile. There is no such thing in this world than, like, immortality. I, I mean, like, that's not true. If, you, if you're one of the 100 or 1,000 people... If you're one of the 1,000 people that, like, reached level 100 in Hardcore Diablo 4, you are immortal. As long as Diablo 4 exists, I guess. If that helps you. Speaking of loop on the note of Tears of the Kingdom, I heard some theories uh, of where it plays, and I agree with none of them. Tell me of t tell tell me where it plays. Who who said which theory? Tell tell me one of them that you are not disagreeing and that you are angry about. I want to hear this. I mean, for me, it's very clear when this game plays. Like, very clear. Like, y you know. They made it pretty clear, too. Stuck on like food here. I did this tourist office. Let's go to the other tourist office real quick. To most degree that it plays at the end of all three, and I can't see that it's in uh, that in BOV is a cutscene that says that all these things existed. But the time where Zelda is, is something I don't agree with. What what do they say that where Zelda is? That Zelda is in Ocarina of Time, period. There, there is no left and there is no right. That, they, they, they say this. They say this in Tears of the Kingdom. A 
I'm not sure why there's a theory about this. <laughs> you think that Ganondorf in Ocarina of Time and the Ganondorf in like... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom doing the same pose in the throne room of the king, having the same ornaments on. Also, it is confirmed that the two witches, like the two Gerudo ladies, uh, left and right from Ganondorf are the sisters, like the, 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 the witches. Like these, uh, these two witches from the spirit temple of Ocarina of Time, so I don't know why we're talking about this even. <laughs> like, it is confirmed. They 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 have like tattoos that say their names in Hyrulean, and also Ganondorf has a sword that has a sword that has both names on them. So I don't even fucking know. It's after Skyward Sword. No. Like, even like I don't I don't know what Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom again, can be so far into the future that Ocarina of Time is extremely far away from them. Like, I don't know why they say, like, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword has nothing to do with this. The only connection to Skyward Sword I see is the dragons, actually. Because I feel like there's, like, for me, there's a new theory that, you know, Dinral, Nadra, and, uh, Farosh, you know, you interact with these dragons in Skyward Sword, and they are already dragons, but they have consciousness. Like, you know, they're dragons, they're not like flying around aimlessly in the sky. They're just beings that help the goddess, right? And I feel like maybe Zonai, if they swallow the stone, they have control over them for, for you know, for a time. And then they get into these like lifeless, mindless dragons. Uh, and these, you know, no, th that could be cool. But I don't think that, you know, that tears of, like, they, they, um, um, that, um, sorry. That Zelda gets transported right after Skyward Sword, because that makes no sense, of two different things. First off, Ganondorf and Ganon do not exist in every game between, like, Skyward Sword, Skyward Sword itself, and up until Ocarina of Time. Until Ocarina of Time, there's no Ganondorf and there's no Ganon, because evil is banished. It's done. Uh, there's only Vati or whatever, and he's tr he, tried he tries to reawaken evil, whatever he does. So, Ganon is not even there. Ganon... Like, you know... Calamity Ganon... Or like, a form of Ganon only exists in Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and, Zelda and, and Link to the Past. This is where Ganon exists. So, Calamity Ganon, Breath of the Wild, fits into that timeline, which makes sense for two reasons. Should I talk about this now? <laughs> it makes sense because the hero died in that timeline. First off, they had the imprisoning war. Because the hero was dead and the sages rose up to imprison Ganondorf because Ganondorf was an asshole. First off, imprisoning war. Ganondorf? No hero. This is why sages needed to do the thing and not a hero because there was no hero. Hero was dead. And because Hero was dead, the Sheikah invented the Shrine of Resurrection. Because they know if shit goes down again, they can get the Hero back. So that makes total sense. So, period. <laughs> Don't talk me into this. It's dumb. Like, all the signs are there. The game, it explains it. So, I don't know, there needs no, t no theories. <laughs> Go away. I don't need this. <laughs> but yes, I think it's uh, too that the hints are super clear. Yeah, and again, for me, the the hints were clear. Like, for me, I don't know if you say, did you see my Breath of the Wild videos by any chance? In Breath of the Wild, before Tears of the Kingdom came out, I said the following thing that. Calamity Ganon is breaking out from something they imprisoned 
under Hyrule Castle, because in Breath of the Wild, there's like five pillars coming out the ground uh, around Hyrule Castle, which is making a pentagram, which is a symbol of protection and a symbol of, you know, like, again, like, like, like a seal kind of thing. So I was like, yeah, there's like something under this. Maybe, and I say it again, Ganondorf is not the problem. Ganon is the problem. Ganondorf is just a man. Uh, he was possessed from evil. The evil is Ganon, and like again, like Ganondorf is just a vessel. And with Breath of the Wild and how the glo the gloom is going in Tears of the Kingdom, and how Calamity Ganon breaks out of the vessel. Um, it makes even more sense that Ganondorf is just basically a possessed man. Which, you know, may be possessed from whatever demise cursed people in Skyward Sword. Whatever. But yeah. So, I said it in Breath of the Wild. You can rewatch my videos. I said it. <laughs> Don't be good, you Don't get me into this. You lose. You lose! Talk to this guy, by the way. So yeah, again, I, I really greatly enjoy Tales of the Kingdom and I really greatly enjoy the story of it. And I feel like, again, I say it, I say it one more time, they did an amazing job. They did an amazing job with this. Again, they gave like very clear hints where they want to have this. They gave very clear hints how it like needs it, it, it connects, um, and I just love it. Again, and only because like oh my god, like she gets into sent into the the very distant past that I don't know what that means. Like obviously, like um, Hylia still exists. In Breath of the Wild, in, in in the in the in the past of Tears of the Kingdom, where Zelda is, also uh, the zone I already speak about a forbidden act that you know dragons blah blah draconification or whatever they talk about this. So that already happened too, right? Because they like I feel like Minoru is like very smart. And if Minoru say this, I feel like she, they will not say this because like it happened like five minutes ago. Like I feel like she did, or like they did, like the Zonai did research on this, and they 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 saw the process what happens to their Zonai friends or brothers or whatever when they like swallow the sacred secret stones, which makes no sense translation wise. By the way, I hate that translation. I, that, I don't know if it's the right translation for that, but I, I I'm get bothered with this. Why does it say secret stone? <laughs> Is it not a sacred stone? <laughs> Is it not sacred? Is that is that not what they want to say? Am I stupid? Secret makes no sense. What is secret about? Everyone knows about the goddamn stones. It's not a secret. Okay, let's get let's go to AS Rock. But either way, I'm sorry for like, you know, talking about this a little bit while playing another game. But we had it on the table, and again, I'm very passionate about this. I, I love Zelda. I love the Zelda games. I love the Zelda timelines. I did like a few timeline runs already. Um, huge fan. Period. So I get passionate about topics, obviously. But I will not, you know, saying this, I will not defend it. I don't see a need for that. It's like, I would I would also not defend my favorite... <laughs> Sorry, I would not defend my favorite game. Skyward Sword. I'm very alone with that opinion. That's fine. I don't know why I got with a bow to this, but... Oh! 
Where am I? What is this? What? I was here in here before, okay. Good. It was just a secret. Again, sorry that I was like driven into that topic. I'm so sorry. It's just like I <laughs> it just over it just overthrew me and I was like, oh my god, I need to talk about this now. Let's go. Who said this? After Skyward Sword, sure. Also, I really, really, really love that they really commit to, uh, you know, Fi. I really like that too, though. That they, th that they like, committed to... Yeah. I am a scientist. This place is the least po polluted when Earth is, uh, is end, 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 end angered like now. I intended to witness the world's end here. Would you listen to me? Sure. A certain race uh, reversed this grand view and vast nature as God. But today, modern societies make a racket about preserving nature. When did humans become so big to think they can protect gods? Perhaps the beginning of the end started here. I thought those things. I thought all the while I watched this beautiful world. I gradually became aware of, the, of a voice calling my name from somewhere. An older boy will appear bearing a rod. The voice set to give the boy my star stone. The voice seemed to em em emanate from the very earth. Take the stone. I have always had it with me since I was a child. Hey, I got the star stone from the penguins again, so... But I, and I know I, I, get, I have to bring them all to the hero's grave, so... We just need to find the other ones. Which I guess we will do in the uh, next episode of this. I feel like a little bit bad about that I got so passionate about this whole topic. I think what we will do is I will save, I will stop it here, and we will go right back into S SOS speedrunning. For a little bit. I think that's a good idea. But I will take another little tiny break though, I feel like, I feel the need to stand up, it's super warm in here, I'm so sorry. So, uh, thanks again for watching uh, Terra Enigma. Tomorrow we end this whole endeavor, so uh, stay tuned and uh, watch, hopefully my, again, it, was it a spoiler? I don't know if it's, well, it was a spoiler for Tears of the Kingdom. If yes, uh, I'm sorry, I guess. But it is meaningless if you don't know the game too well, so you will, you will find out for yourself. And I will be back in just a second, and I will go for speedrunning. See you uh, in a few.